Oh yeah, we made it to a new area. For the love of fuck. It didn't remember that I did any of this. Weird. Gotta go fist. <coughs> Pollo Gordo. Miguel, hurry up. That catering order has to be ready soon. What the hell are you talking about, you old bat? Sacred guacamole, you say? Well, my secret ingredient is grapefruit juice. Lemon and lime are for cowards. If you're not puckering up, it's not sacred. Yeah. I've been seeing these peculiar dark clouds lately. Hopefully it's just weird weather, but I'm having a strange feeling in my gut. Though, that may have been the Pepper Emporium. Wish I were a Pepper Emporium. Lost cat. Contact Schrodinger? Schrodinger? Really? Have you ever looked at a cactus and wondered what it'd be like to hug one? Oh yeah, dude, all the time. No? Oh, uh, me neither. Hey, whoa there, buddy. Slow down. Are you the luchador that found the Jade Relic? I've been asked to direct you to the Alabrije Allegra. It's behind you up the stairs. Not allowed to explore. Hey, dear cousin. I find the rain to be quite refreshing. It's always so hot here. Have you heard there's a muscular cat man staying in the Posada? We Villa, Villa Chula townspeople are very proud of our tall, beautiful cat guy. Don't touch them. Oh, not because they're delicate or anything, just razor sharp. Juan, I thought you were dead, buddy. It's me, Cabazon. So this can only mean one thing. 
You're from another timeline. I knew things were getting weird around here. I've always been intrigued by the idea of timeline rifts. How do they work? How are they created? How come they sometimes close immediately after entry, yet other times stay open forever? It seems pretty convenient in any case. It's great to see you, man. Another Phytatorium. Stop wasting my time and come back when you have some new powers we can work with. We've been thinking about moving out to a smaller town for when the baby arrives. Not that Villa... Via Chula isn't beautiful, we just think we'd like to settle down somewhere quieter. There's a mysterious woman who visits here from the Badlands sometimes. They say she's kind of witch or sorceress. Huh. Ha, huh. nice belt. Everyone loves luchadors now, but I was into them before they were a fashion statement. How about you, Pops? I bet you couldn't up or cut your way out of a wet paper bag. Whoa, Pops, you aren't cool enough to be stomping all over my house. Alright, that looked pretty good, but uppercuts are peak mainstream. I bet you've never heard of a dashing derp derp. Think you can do one? Or do I have to call it a dash punch for you? Okay, you know your groceries, Daddy-o, but Luchador isn't a label you wear, it's a way of life. If you're the real deal, then you'll be packing a killer frog slam? I don't know what that is. There's a mysterious woman who visits here from the Badlands sometimes. They say she's come some kind of witch or sorceress. Man, it's like it never stops raining. I spent, like, forever making my hair look perfectly disheveled this morning, and the rain just smoothed it right out. Ugh. I'm going to be playing here with the rest of my band tonight. Will I be seeing you in the audience? Should be a great time. just keeps going somewhere. Oops. Panchito and his band kept me in business for many years. If this is where he'd like to spend his final days, the least I can do is oblige him. Hello, Luchador Cough. Did you come to watch old Panchito perform? Sadly, I am not long for this world, and worst of all, I am without my guitar. I let Maria at El Pollo Gordo borrow my guitar, but she hasn't returned it. What will be the point of the next life if I cough? Cannot take the joy of music with me. Please, Luchador, can you see if she still has it? Panchito brought me so much joy through his music. I'm happy to care for him in his final days. We've cancelled shows for the week, and the backstage is off-limits. I'm sure you understand.
What's that? Panchito's guitar. Well, I... I let Gabriella borrow it. But she passed away last year. That reminds me. I should really visit her grave. So, the rumors were true. Juan the Luchador has returned from the dead. Only this time, fate finds us on the same side, old rival. You've done well so far, Juan. I see you brought the Jade Relic. But we can't celebrate yet. We're facing a very dangerous man, Salvador, whose eyes burn like fire. In this timeline, after Kalaka killed you, Salvador defeated him. Salvador's technique was impeccable. But he is no hero. Darkness is overtaking him. The Council of Chivos and I are trying to stop him. Salvador is probably looking for the Obsidian Relic as we speak. Go to the Obsidian Temple through the Badlands to the west. The Obsidian Relic is somewhere inside the temple. KK, got it. Good luck, Juan, and thank you for delivering the Jade Relic. I promise to keep it safe here. Objective, get to the Templo de Obsidiana through the Badlands. Oh, my legs? I had an unfortunate skiing accident in the Sierra Morena. Otherwise, I'd be fighting by your side, mi amigo. Lieutenant Dan, you got new legs. Oh, there's shit up there. Okay. Ah. Oh. Kind of hoping I'd be able to cheese my way up there, but it doesn't look like I can. Right, boof. You look ready. For your information, the Badlands are just west of here. Another chicken area, huh? Climb this slippery stuff. Get out of my office. gold there. I thought you could land on the gold walls. Alright. Oh, here we go. At some point. 
The true chosen one shows no fear. You throw yourself into danger, but will you throw yourself into a wall? I'm kidding, don't do that. Just Poyo shot yourself into these bouncy bumpers. Poyo bumpers? Really? Poyo shot into bumpers to bounce off of them. Oh, I can hold against... Okay. Here we go. That explains that. Hell yeah, dude. This is working out sweet. So the whole thing's explored already? That was stupid fast. Yeah. Holy shit, another hunk? Heart chunk already. Another hunk chart. <laughs> cool. Alrighty then. Alright, I should go back then. That's the I am error guy. Now that I can do it a bouncy bouncies. This should be that area to the right over here where I can go up the wall for some treasure chests. I quickly do that before I go to the next temple. Where the hell's the thing I'm thinking of? Oh, it's way the fuck back there. Alright, screw that. We're going to the next temple. In my mind, it was really close. You know? Don't you know? Via Chula Darkest Timeline.
My friend Gabriella is buried here. It may sound silly, but I feel her close to me whenever I visit. Where's that dude's guitar? It's gonna be down there, I guess. Ah, greetings, Juan. I am Ue Coco, <laughs> and you uh, will n have need of my sorceries. I can teach you to draw greater powers. Aha, from your mm, special moves. Complete mm, the tasks on the skill screen. Yes, and I will show you great power. Mm, ha. I've already unlocked everything from everybody. I wonder if this is a short game. Increase the power of your uppercut. Uh, fine, fine. Badlands, darkest timeline. Proving grounds. Well, well, you've proven to be ready for the Proving Grounds. Beyond is an ancient site where luchadors compete for the attention of the gods. We'll see if you can prove yourself worthy. Are you coming on to me? Oops. You may have access to the Proving Grounds, but that's the easy part. You've got a long way to go to prove you belong here. Fucking... Okay. I thought you'd never make it. I have a business to run, you know. Anyways, this is the proving grounds. Luchadors have come here since ancient times to compete in the lucha art. The ones who mastered every challenge got to enter this big old door and meet T.M. Pockley, the god of time. T.M. Pockley? But those luchadors were way better than you. I'm just here to watch you mess up. Buena suerte. Ignore him, Juan. He's all shot and no powder. He's got a point, though. It's going to take a lot of work. So if we ace these tests, we get to meet a god... Sounds cool, let's do it. <laughs> hmm. Proving yourself. Ah, worthy of a god's attention will be no simple matter. Heh. <laughs> we will need to draw deeply to Aha, awaken your light latent powers. Professor Layton. Ah, Juan, I'm so excited. See those doors down here? Those are the legendary grapple trials. Ah, I'm totally geeking out. Only true contenders would dare walk here, but I, Rooster Ramirez, am the only one allowed to strut. Don't get too excited. I can't even beat most of these challenges. The only thing this place is good for is setting off fireworks. Challenge three. Treadmill speedrun. Race to the end. Use the environment to your advantage. I'm a trying. Uh... Oops. Hmm, ah, hmm. You are not yet, aha, super enough for this challenge. Come back when you've mastered all your special moves. Oh. Okay. Break all the barrels as fast as possible.
Ugh. Oh no. What the fuck, lady? What the fuck, man? There we go. Damn, that took a while. Bronze? Hmm. A minute and 23. Okay, I'm coming back to this area when I have more of my, uh, powers unlocked. I need, like, a downward punch and probably some other shit I don't even know about yet. I love challenges. Oh crap, there you go. Can't go up there yet. Oh, Lucha! I know how to dodge you, fuck ass. The entire game I've been doing this. Butchered that, but we made it. the ability to fucking okay swap between dimensions at will Okay. Juan the Luchador. Alive? So it's true. It's me, Extabe. Of course, I know you recognize me. No one ever forgets my beauty. Although, this is the new me. Peaceful, mindful. You'd think things would be great without my ex, Kalaka. Yes, I'm single, but... You and I can never be. I'm too much for you. Follow me.
I commissioned the fall of Kalika from a local artist. I like how he really captured the suffering. Salvador is the real deal, Juan. His fight with Kalika. I had never seen such amazing technique. His rooster uppercut could break any shield. But that mask of his, it's killing him. Come, I have something that may help you. You like my Alabrije Sanctuary? They're all rescues, you know. Although, I'd like to think that they rescued me. You'll need this if you intend to take on Salvador. Dimension Swap. Fuck yeah, dude. I don't know if you'll actually stand a chance against him, but I wish you the best of luck, Juan. I wonder where Kalika is now. Does he ever think about me? Nuisance. Yeah, now you get that treasure chest. Just money? God damn it.
fuck everything. Seriously? Oh my god, you fuck. Go down first, I'm guessing. Okay. Ha! <laughs> Okay. This world is so fun to traverse. Okay. What a creepy little armadillo thing, eh? I love it. Okay. can't break those yellow doors. Hmm. Oh, crap. That 
jerk throwing fire at me. Oh, what the fuck? Asshole. Okay. Another heart piece. Have I missed anything yet? Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like it. Oh, what the hell is that? Fine, we'll play along with Salvador's little game for now, but let's not forget that stealing the golden egg is the real goal here. We won't be henchmen for long. I swear upon the cage that once imprisoned me that I will not allow my quest to be compromised. Least of all by that neurotic muscle head. That guy should take a cough drop. Sometimes you're just way too nice, Cactuardo. Anyways, I'll sneak through the golden toilets and let you in. Um, excuse me, can't you see we're plotting here? That guy should take a cough drop. Okay. Oh. Okay. Man, it's all yellow shit. Yellow and green. God, I love traversing this fucking overworld. It's so fun. So good. They have so many good ideas. It's kind of like Rayman, but in a fucking Metroidvania style. Obviously, a completely different art style, too, but I mean, fuck, what a great combo. Break the green shit or the yellow shit. Hmm. Nothing here, huh? Okay. There's shit on the ground. My bad. What the hell is it? Try to go up, I guess. No, that ain't gonna be possible, is it? What the fuck? Okay, it is. Trippy. Oh, wow. Look at this shit. Oh my god. I'm gonna heat up my coffee. 
I'm gonna need some coffee for this. Holy fuck. Fuck's sakes. Fuck, I almost had it. It is so hard to time that final one right. Did I bump my head? God damn it. Jesus, man. hell
guy. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna do the chicken thing first. Okay, what are we gonna learn this time? Oh, hey, how's it going? Underscore fam. Alien hominid. Game Boy Advance. Wow, that's trippy. How is it? Holy shit. the shout out it's going good yeah i was trying to shout out somebody whenever they jump in oh my goodness what kind of game is it alien hominid oh it's good not as good as the console versions of alien hominid it is definitely a shorter game on the Game Boy Advance. Makes sense. Usually. Usually the case. Man. I know almost nothing about the fucking Game Boy Advance library. I just like skipped past it when I was young, I guess. I don't really know too much about it. Can I... Yeah, okay. We're going down. Holy fuck, I made it. Okay, cool. It's a run and gun. What the hell? Oh, that's cool. I'm gonna have to check that out sometime. I love run and guns. I actually just beat a Valfaris. Have you heard of that? It's like a super gory, fucking, like, heavy metal version of, like, Metal Slug and Contra and shit. Really, really nice pixel art. Hey, you ever do a Poyo shot and think, why can't I just do another one? Well, guess what? You can. Don't feel bad. It took me a while to think of it, too. Haha. -ha. Fuck yeah. Double Poyo shot. That'll help. What is it called again? Uh, Valfaris. I think it's like somewhat recent. Not like in the past year or anything, but like, yeah. That game was fucking fantastic. I loved it. So much fun. Oh, 
Oh, fuck. Okay, um... Oh, what the hell? Am I retarded? Okay. This platforming is getting bananas. There we go. Man, this is so cool. Thanks. Man, if you like run and gun games, you'll definitely love that game. Holy shit. Yeah, it's like super gory and it's all about like aliens and shit like that. Like you're on alien planets and stuff, so... Yeah. It's got a lot of really nice variety to the scenes. I don't know if you played that Slain game. It's like... That fucking heavy metal action platformer game. It's made by the same team, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Slain into hell or whatever the fuck it's called. Oh boy, here we go. Storm trophy. What the fuck? Kill 50 enemies as a chicken. Ta da! Okay. You ever heard of Xeno Crisis? Hell yeah, dude! Fuck, that game is hard, man. That game is ridiculously difficult, dude. Me and my buddy popped it in for like a few hours a little while back. We couldn't even fucking... Uh, what level did we get to? I don't even think we made it to the final level. We made it to the one where you're in the woods. It's like World 3 or 4 or whatever. That game's so cool. Twin stick shooters are a lot of fun. But holy fuck balls! There's no way in hell I'm gonna be able to beat that game. Yeah, I grabbed a physical on the PS4. My buddy got a Neo Geo MVS one, cause he's got uh, an MVS cab. Lucky bastard. That's everything, right? Yeah, okay. Ugh. Oh, fuck yeah, warp. Kale, sorry, I just can't stop talking about it. I even added it to my sacred guacamole. You know about this stuff? It's super healthy. Not at all boring. And no one is even a little bit sick of it showing up in everything. Through that. I got kale once and it fucking sucked. I love vegetables, but holy fuck, man. Kale? I don't know. the Genesis ROM from the game developer's website. I always play the game in a Genesis emulator. Nice. Did you manage to beat it or what? Yeah, dude, I love how many retro games are coming out on modern systems. Oh, shit. I died. Fucking chicken sucks. <laughs> I 
Luca. Okay. Oh, what the hell? Oh, that was it. Fuck, I was like prepping myself for something nuts. I have beat the game the first time using safe states and every other time using codes a little. Yeah, you'd have to. I get that. It's crazy how difficult they made it. I can't seem to understand. Fuck, there's gotta be like a proper combo way to like spend your upgrade points on shit to make it easier. By at least a couple percent. I mean, fuck. I tried so many random combos, and yeah, like, the furthest that I ever made it was, like, level four? I think there's only five levels in the game or something, right? <sighs> Battle Axe was another really, really good fucking top-down, uh... I, I, I want to call it a gauntlet clone, but it's not really. The pixel art in it's gorgeous. But it's also hard as fuck, like, I couldn't even beat that game either. It's too hard for me to eat, ever beat legit, especially for the good ending. Yeah, understandable. They, I can't believe how difficult they made that game. Oh, piss off. Don't you have to, like, not use a continue for the good ending or something like that? My buddy was bitching because he, like, died right at the end. I'm like, holy fuck, man. Like, he made it so far. Um. Yeah, okay. Chicken time. Now what do I do here? Oops. Is there anything I can do here? No. Okay. Guess not. Yes, yeah, so you cannot use a continue for the good ending unless you use a code. Yeah. Codes. Codes, codes, codes. I wouldn't want to fucking memorize that game to the point where I could beat it without a continue. That would take so much time and patience. I'd lose my mind. Ah. I saw you were playing Chuck Rock. beat that game on a uh, Sega CD. That game wasn't bad. I never really hear anybody talk about it. What do you think of Chuck Rock? I played through number one and number two, I believe. Oh, sick. A new ability. Is it to smash the green shit finally? Hey, Juan. It's about time you got here. I've been waiting for ages. Wait, I thought you had the next statue. Why are you yelling? No, I've got Frog Slam. You've got butt something. Well, I ain't going nowhere. Look, guy. Are you from the slow timeline or what? Sniff. Are you from the mean timeline? Yeah? What if I am? What are you going to do? Cry to your mommy? Sniff, sniff. Yeah, maybe I will. Alright, buddy. You better listen up. I don't want to repeat myself. Press down and circle in the air to frog slam. Got it? Fuck yeah. That's awesome. Oh, 
He's not gonna cry to his mummy. I will. I love Chuck Rock. I had it on Super Nintendo as a kid. I've beaten it as a kid. I got my ass kicked playing it recently, though. Seriously? That's awesome. Yeah, it's usually the other way around, eh? That's good. I love returning to childhood games. The other way around, eh? I have uh, my headphones in right now, so I always hear myself like five or ten seconds later. I don't, re I don't realize how many times I say "a," eh, you know. Like that must be a fucking Canadian thing. I don't really hear other people do that too much. A. Eh? Okay. It's two green things. Fuck it. Ugh. All right, fuck it. Lucha. What the hell? Okay. Holy crap. Cool. I think I chose the area that I was supposed to go. I like exploring all the side shit first, you know? Didn't that work? There we go. Okay. Oh, that's the way I'm supposed to go. I keep accidentally choosing the correct path. I'm trying to find all the extra shit, you know? Oh, Christ. Oh, fuck. Oh, and then you have to start. Okay. Cool. Are you not working? Come on, dude. All 
I'm literally spamming triangle. There's no reason that it shouldn't detect at least one of them. Oh no. I'll get it. One of these days. One of these years, I will do this. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but someday. Uh, finally, Jesus Christ. Well, at least that was the end of it. Nice. Okay, now, where was I? So what do you think of the game? Have you played this before? Uh. Oh, you dink. That hat dork really messed that up. That's a cool gameplay mechanic. You are gay. Hey, oh, Dragomir. Is this where the Dilfs are meeting up? It's the Dilf meetup. Yep. Just in time, too. We we're about to see who can make the zebra come quicker. Okay. How are you doing today? My fucking neck hurts. I might have slept in a bad position. Fuck, I hate it when that happens. Neck kinks are the worst. There we go. 
Yeah, fucking hit the thing. There you go. Yikes. My fucking neck hurts. I might have slept in a bad position. Ugh. That's rough. Man. I like... I lowered so many of the settings on my stream right now, and every time I look down, it just looks like it's fucking lagging even worse than usual. So it's like, how does that make sense? I am so confused. Literally everything I do that should make it easier just makes it fucking worse, man. I don't understand what the fuck is wrong with this thing. As per your messenger inquiry, I prefer to buy CDs when available. I go out of my way to get CDs from old Japanese musicians or game soundtracks or whatever. But if it's rare, overpriced, unavailable... I'll settle for digital for best quality as possible, not that normie MP3 shit. Lag was really bad last night. Oh, okay. It looks atrocious to me right now. How does it seem to you? I lowered my shit from, like, HD down to 480. I don't know. I changed some other crap, too. I was like, ah, I won't have as much to process. But every time I look down, it's skipping, like, insanely hard. And I'm like, really? Lower quality's making you struggle harder? That's fucking baffling. Absolutely baffling. It's really bumming me out, man. No idea what to do. It's adequate? I hate this. Makes me so bummed out. Oh boy. Oh. Boy, Peck. I thought I smelled damp cabbages, but it's just a washed up old dog lady. You look worse than ever. That's the best pickup line I've ever heard. Chivo, my old nemesis, slash greatest regret. Just fresh from the hopeless loser timeline. Well, yes, I was just there visiting your mom. Let's skip the formalities, Chivo. You know how much I love your ugly face, but you already lost this one. Take this as friendly advice. Stay out of my way and you won't get hurt. This time is different, even with you having died 23 times. 24. 24, you should know. Salvador's playing with too much power. And I have front row seats, darling. Let's enjoy the chaos together. You can't possibly tell me you're not a bit curious about witnessing. The end of the world. The beginning of a new chapter of the Mexiverse. We're already in a new chapter. This is the sequel. You're even crazier than I remember. Crazy like a goat. Oh, and Chivo. Lame Mentor Weekly called. They want to offer you a lifetime subscription for being extra lame. Oh yeah, well, Bad Taste Magazine called. They want to see if you'd like to renew. She can't hear me. That was a fantastic exchange of pleasantries. Boner fuel indeed, eh? I think streaming directly from the PlayStation consoles is better. Really? Hmm. Don't tempt me, damn it. My secret guacamole ingredient. Hmm. I guess I would have to say lots of extra cilantro or coriander, or Chinese parsley. It's all the same thing. Sure, it tastes like soap to some people, but to them I say you are not worthy of my guacamole, mutants. <laughs> Maybe next time, bud. See you later. Careful. Don't touch my statue. I'm sorry for snapping at you. I've just been sculpting this thing for days. It's my masterpiece. A tribute to all that is good and just in the world. It represents the human spirit prevailing, despite these dark times we live in.
Hmm, no point. Okay. I used to stream directly from the PlayStation 5 console. Like, uh... Hmm. What the fuck is my YouTube? I think it's just my... St Here, I'll just send you a fucking video link. I'll show you what it looked like when we fucking were streaming on the PlayStation 5. Oh my god, it's bad. So I upload every video that I do on YouTube for some fucking stupid reason. I don't understand why I'm doing it. Oh shit, what are you? Okay. I own a chain of fightatoriums, okay? You're not the only one who gets around. Now come in and learn something before I regret it. I'll teach you to be a real slamma jamma. are starting to get a little nuts. Ugh. Nicely done, much as I loathe to admit it. Now get lost. Really? Stop wasting my time and come back when you have some new powers. Yes, drill sergeant. Okay. Oh shit, are we entering a brand new temple? Fuck yeah, dude. Man, I love this game. I used to be one of the Obsidian Temple caretakers here with my brother, but ever since I died, I've been doing it alone. I guess dying wasn't that bad of a thing. Now I can sweep the dead world while my brother keeps the living world clean. But you know what they say about clean temples. Nothing. My brother and I are so underappreciated. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna learn the fucking how to break the yellow ones in here, I guess. Cool. Oh, okay. Okay, we're going right. Video looks fine enough. Visual clarity doesn't matter much. Should I just go back to fucking streaming from the PS5? Salvador, I feel the power of the obsidian. Yes, yes. Who are you calling an amphibian? 
Oh, did you say obs obsidian? Cough, cough. You should get some rest. You should get a vest. Cough, cough. I'm fine. Must be the carnitas I had earlier getting stuck in there. Cough, cough. What's a carnita? Once we open the gate to El o Otro Mundo, nothing will stop you. Get me that guacamole. What a beautiful day to be evil. This is definitely my most exciting life yet. Those other 24 were basically a wash. Wouldn't hurt to try once? Hmm. Try again, right? Oh, no way up there. Okay, I was gonna say, I got some codes for you. You kept talking about, oh, yeah, I don't know. You seem to really like music, so. Oh, fuck yeah. What now? Viento. Cantan las joyas. Vayan las paras en el paral. What the fuck? Ira la rosa, rosa del viento, no del rosal. Nube y nube. Flotan dormidos. Algas del eri. Oh my fucking god. I can't read any of this shit. Be the wind, my friend. This is double jump. Oh my god, a double jump. Sick. Oh man. God, I love double jumps. Took five hours, but we finally got the double jump. Just in time, stream chugged and I missed everything you said about music? Fuck. Um. Oh, I just said you really like music, so I just sent you uh, the... This game came with the digital soundtracks or whatever the fuck. Codes for it. And I'm never going to use them, so... I just sent them to you on Facebook if you want them. Yeah, that ain't happening. Fuck ribosomes. Stay out of River Daily, you daft twit. Oh, that kind of reminds me of Necrosphere. Okay, I'll check it out, thanks. Stupid fucking. 
fucking streaming. It's so disheartening, it just makes you not want to do it when everything turns to shit, you know what I mean? How the hell am I gonna... Oh, okay. Weird. That makes no sense, but I'll take it. That's some weird-ass physics. Holy macaroni. Yes, defeat the white man in armor. Show him who's boss. Oops. Do I get like a flying technique or something? That'd be weird. Making it. We need another 13. What the hell are you doing? It wouldn't let me slam down while I was in the air. What the fuck? Okay, now it's allowed. 
God damn it. All right. I always forget how huge these temples are. Vientos. Hmm. I saw on your YouTube that you played the Grinch game on Game Boy. Did you play the one on PlayStation? Uh, no, dude. I don't have a way to play through PlayStation games yet. And Cassius is just going on and on and on and on and on about how I should get a mister. Because that'll be able to do fucking... Sega CD, Saturn, Dreamcast, PlayStation 1, N64. All the 32 and 64-bit shit, too, right? I really want to go through Jaguar games again. I really like the Jaguar. There's a couple 3DO games that aren't too bad that I wouldn't mind streaming. But, uh, yeah, when I get the Mister, I'll be able to play some more 3D shit. Well, I mean, fuck, I probably shouldn't. Not till the internet comes in. Speaking of which, I need to go fucking talk to that TELUS guy today and be like, dude, you said that the fucking TELUS, like, uh, fiber optic was coming in this month. It's the 23rd today, like, ugh. I really, really, really want to stream higher-end shit. Oh, okay, apparently it has a terrible reputation, but I've played it numerous times over the years, and it's a great game. I only know Dolphin for emulating. Um... Me and Melissa played through the Grinch on the Sega Dreamcast. I don't know if that's the same as the PlayStation one or not. It wasn't too bad. From what I remember, it was like a collect-a-thon kind of game. Fuck, that was close. Oh, 
Oh, hell yeah. Survived that. There's like a floating ability that I need. And whatever breaks that yellow shit. Looks to be the same one. Nothing extra special, but it was well made. Yeah, it wasn't bad at all, dude. But I mean, people bitch about fucking everything, man. So like, I never really take people's words for anything. Like, people praise games that I think are fucking shit. And people bitch about games that I think are fucking awesome. Like, everybody's different, right? I must be learning the fucking yellow thing soon. Oh. Fuck, here we go. Hello? Ue Chivo? KO Headbutt. Ayo, headbutt. Fuck yeah. So I got double jump and the fucking ability to break yellow blocks in this one stage? Or dungeon. I forgot about those little things. I always have black sheep opinions for everything. It sucks. Dude, me too. I like watch a movie and I'm like, holy fuck, that was so cool. I like look up ratings. It's got like 3%. I'm like, what? I like throw on a movie that everybody's like, man, you gotta see this, you gotta see this, and I'll just like force my way through it. I'm like, this is so boring. And then I'll check out reviews. It's got like 97%. I'm like, am I fuck? Is my brain fucking busted or what? Like, I just nine times out of ten, my fucking opinion is completely different than everybody else's. Fuck off. There you go. Yeah, there's got to be a floating technique. Hmm. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh my god. Wind. Gotcha. Makes sense. What, I'm just like stuck here for all of eternity or what? Apparently. What the fuck, game? It's probably the only person that liked the Ratchet and Clank movie. I was aware of its flaws, but it's a solid 7 out of 10. Yeah, I never watched it. people bitch about most things, so, like, it wouldn't surprise me if it was a decent. Oh, 
What are you doing, you twit? Fuck it. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be... Yeah. So now I can take the upper path or the left path. It's up to you. Should I go up or should I go left, dude? Left. Okay. Oh, it's this guy again. Okay, so that golden rock was just a rock. And Jaguar Javier has the Jade Relic now. I look like an idiot, Gertrude. No, it's true. Ladies, as you know, Salvador is still angry and doesn't want to see us. That's why we have to sneak in and find the Obsidian Relic before anyone even knows we're here. I'm going to need your help to pull this off. Let's make magic. Bok. Okay. Fuck everything, but fuck you the most. No. This kind of giving you Rayman vibes too, or is it just me? killed enough enemies yet. I need to kill six more with a headbutt. Okay. No, up, up, up! <laughs> Wolferino. Eh, it's okay. I guess it does now. Ring, ring, ring. Banana bread. Here's like... You ever just like standing there in Subway and then you just take your pants off and aim your dick up and just start pissing all over your fucking face? Making eye contact with the chef? You ever do that? Other such fairy tales. Wah, 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 wah. Top ten mating calls. Jiminy Jilliker is radioactive dilf. Bitch. Ring, 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 bananas. Ah. I was gonna headbutt him. You ever tried jizzing up at your face? Mind reader. Ugh. 
mucho bueno. Oh, wow. Fucking shit's getting intricate now. Will you Lego my ego, you twit? My coffee tastes weird today. Oh God. Right off, sir. Punch Man. One shot an enemy with a fully upgraded super move. I hate that my coffee always comes out a bit different. Yeah, it's weird, right? I have the same fucking coffee that I always... What the hell is going on? The same coffee that I always fucking use and the same creamer that I always use. And this one's like... I don't know. It's got some weird sweetness to it that isn't usually there. It also fucking tastes burnt for some weird reason. It's got like a weird burning taste to it. No. My fault you take forever. Right, Wolf? Ah, Time that wrong. Come on, fool. Motherfucker. Oh, there's a fucking thing over there. Okay. Oh, my Lanta. Oh, we got another power-up thing. 
When you run out of ideas for your 2D platformer, spinning energy blast trap. Yeah. Uh. Purple. Oh yeah, the chicken. I was like, I don't have a purple move. Please to be getting up, dumbass. There you go. <sighs> you ever have sex with like half a mouse? What are you doing, boob? You got AIDS. Boob. What are you doing? What is it, boof? Hey. Oh, God damn it. Um. Did I miss anything there? No. Dia de los Muertos, Filf. Lucha. Oh, fuck everything. Get up, you cunt. You some kind of moron. Uh-oh. Ring, ring, ring. Bananas. Simon says, that's the only way I can come. Oh boy. Wowzies, you daft bastard. Oh, that was the last thing I needed to do. Varwiki. Varwiki. You ever stuff your sausage in a hot dog bun and drizzle mustard on it? Do I? Do I ever? And then I try to feed it to the neighbor's dog. Trying to make your animal bite off my wee wee. Don't act like you don't dream of it. Oh, cool, I made it. Fuck everything. Samba amigo. Get up. Get up, you're asleep at the wheel. 
Get up, we have eels to have sex with. Here we go. It's a cutscene, that's why. Alright, dude, should I go up or should I go up? Um. I think we got everything so far. Right? It'd be really nice to have someone manhandle my neck right now. Just choke the shit out of me and get rid of the strain. I go and see a fucking registered massage therapist every month. You should fucking... I don't know how much it would cost for you, but... It's fucking worth it, dude, to feel better. Once you start, like, approaching 30, everything just kind of, like, sucks. What the fuck are you doing, game? Apparently I'm down with the syndrome. How, how am I fucking up such obvious timing? That was it? Okay. Okay. Um. Fuck. Gotta fight the urge to fucking sneeze. Would be a good idea. Yeah, man, it works a lot. They can tell you, like, what you need to do and shit. So that you don't have to fucking come right back. They'll be like, oh, this thing that you're doing, it's really not good for you. Or, oh, yeah, if you want less of uh, this tension in this area, try doing this exercise, blah, 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 right? Fuck. Once I started, like, getting in shape last year, like, I was 270 pounds and I smoked two packs a day. And then I went from that to fucking exercising a lot, like, every fucking day. And, uh, moving around a lot and doing this, that, and the other thing and dropped a bunch of weight. So, like, my entire body was so fucking pissed off at me. Everything was, like, you know, shifting around and moving around, getting used to everything and... Oof. I just started seeing, like, a fucking physiotherapist and a registered massage therapist. Every two weeks, I'd see one of them. And now I... Yeah, I don't see a physiotherapist anymore. I just see my fucking 
massage dude like once a month because it just feels good to get like a tune up you know and i still have like i'm still yeah i'm not where i want to be yet that's for sure i'm still working at it every day so i gotta try and feel better right sucks when you hit that age where you have to start taking care of yourself. It just feels like you're in your 20s and, like, you're a teenager for, like, so goddamn long and everything's just, like, fine. No matter what. I can't even sit down for hours anymore without my back hurting. Yeah, dude, I know. It's fucked, right? Like, I spent most of my life just laying down on the couch <laughs> on my left side, dude. Like, I did that for, like, a decade, man. That's, like, all I do. So, once I started, like, moving around and shit, man, the physiotherapist was, like, playing with my ribs. She's, like, it's, like, one big thing, and I can't push in on it. Like, because I'm, like, yeah, every time I, like, go up hills or I'm breathing really heavy, everything hurts so bad. She's, like... Your diaphragm isn't able to expand. Your ribs have, like, no movement. So my ribs have just been, like, slowly fucking separating and becoming individual things. God, that pain was so bad, dude. Like, being lazy is the worst fucking thing you could ever do to yourself. Start doing, like, yoga and cardio and shit, like, now, while you're still fucking young. Every few years is gonna be, like, exponentially harder to start than several years prior, right? I gotta blow my nose. I'm gonna heat up my coffee, too. The shitty thing about getting, like, no fucking... Like, you have so many muscles, and they all need to be, like, fucking exercised. And they all need to be exercised in different ways. It's so, like, literally any task that I do nowadays, everything's gonna hurt for a few days. Like, I went and bought a fucking basketball, and me and Melissa went and shot some hoops and shit like that, right? And I'm using muscles <laughs> that I didn't even know I had, and they're, like, super sore, like, for both of us, like... They're just overworked because they're so underutilized on a day-to-day -day basis, right? So, but I mean, if you keep doing that every few days, like, the pain just goes away kind of thing. 
It's literally one of those, like, no pain, no gain kind of situations. You have to, like, just accept the fact that you're going to be in fucking shitty pain every time you do something. But it's literally the best thing that you can do for yourself, right? And the more you do it, the better you'll feel for longer, the older you get kind of shit. LOL, oof. Yeah, life sucks, dude. I'd give anything to be fucking, like, 18 again. I still feel like a teenager in my fucking brain, dude. Oh, fuck. As cheesy as it sounds, dude, podcasts help me a lot when I'm doing exercise and shit. Whether I'm, like, biking or I'm going hiking up hills and shit like that. Like, listening to somebody who's constantly working out and has, like, really positive vibes and shit. And is, that shit kind of helps a lot, too, right? It just gets you all pumped and shit. Listening to productive people helps it. Like with me and the game company Insomniac Games podcast from years ago. Yeah, man, exactly. You just feed off of the positive energy, right? I love it. Most people rip on me, but I started fucking listening to uh, the Joe Rogan podcast when I started exercising and shit like that. Because, like, he had a whole bunch of guests and shit that I would really like, you know? Like Neil deGrasse Tyson and, like, other scientist-type people. And, uh, yeah, just his overall message is, like, be fucking nice to people. Expand your mind. Take the time to enjoy life. Try your hardest to be happier. Make sure that you exercise and, like, give your body and your fucking mind what it needs and... Blah, 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 blah. He's just constantly, like, pounding positivity into your head. It's fucking awesome. Most of the time I bring that up to people, they're like, Oh, I fucking hate Joe Rogan. He's such a piece of shit. He's such a meathead and an idiot and an asshole. And I'm like, what? Like, I have the total opposite experience with him. But, I mean, fuck. That's like everything else in my life, though, right? That guy gets me so pumped up. I'm, like, wanting to better myself mentally, emotionally, physically. Plus, I mean, no matter what you're into, you're, you'll always find guests where you want to hear what the fuck they have to say, even if you don't like Joe Rogan, right? He has so many comedians on there, too.
People love to shit on him because they're pretentious coons. He's cool. Holy fuck. Cool. I was expecting you to be like, oh my god, he's gay. Everybody says that to me. That guy's so lame. There's not a hell of a lot of fucking people out there who are like, you know, there to be like, hey, you know, life can be fucking awesome. Try a little harder and like motivate you to be a better human being, right? You don't get a lot of that, especially nowadays. Oof. What the hell was that? Oh, that was the early. Okay. Another fucking art. Temple Raider Trophy. Find 100% of the hidden items in a temple. And our life went up again. Holy shit. Things will bother you, never bother me. Uh. <laughs> they all just fucking kill themselves. That's a spirit. Oh shit. Oh, what? That guy bounced me into. Oh no. That's annoying. Alright, you fuck. Made it. Hello. His podcasts are really good when I'm playing No Man's Sky. Very chill vibe. Yeah, dude. Usually. Unless, like, Alex Jones is in or something hilarious. But, uh... People need to learn to take, di like, hear differing opinions than themselves and not automatically dismiss or detest the person. Like, it's fucking impossible to see eye to eye with anybody on anything, right? It's so fucked. People just worship their separation. These podcasts are really good. Seems like the whole Zoomer generation is growing up to be pretentious pessimist. It's gonna be rough. Yeah, it's crazy. They're gonna fucking run the world soon, right? Well, a lot of the younger people that I see whenever I'm going on walks and shit, they avoid eye contact like no tomorrow. If you're just, like, walking by or whatever, it's a nice day out. i am like, oh, hello. They, like, won't even say hello back, and it's like, fuck... Awkward as hell. That guy bounced you into Guacamelee 1. Yeah. Ow. Oh my god, we're done. Burr. It's kind of rainy and cloudy again today. It's chilly. Yesterday was like 23 and warm. What's, what the fuck is it right now? 16 and raining? I don't know what the fuck that is in Fahrenheit. Thanks, sucker. Thank <laughs> you. 
Wow, today was exhausting. I finally finished cleaning the area you just came through. It's spotless. It's so clean that you can't even see the walls. Haha, <laughs> my brother would be so proud of me. Uh-oh. I hate that I'm alive during this massive shift in human culture. Yeah, yeah. I wish I was born in, like, 1960 or 1970, honestly. That way I could have been there for, like, the hardcore punk movement and the beginning of 8-bit video games and before internet and cell phones kind of took over everybody, you know? Uh, I was around just enough to be familiar with old world, but slowly witnessing new shit take over from people being coons to more personally my grandparents' village up in the mountains are dying off. It's scary. Yeah. This new fucking generation is going to be so fucked. Oh my god. But every generation said that about every fucking next generation, right? So, I don't know. My my, how did you fumble your way in here, little man? Boss fight? Good effort, but you're too late. I command the darkest canine sorceries and dance effortlessly between the worlds of the living and the dead. But by all means, go ahead and wrestle me. Ha 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 ha. Apex. around and punch him once. There you go. Oh. Christ. we fight again or what? No? What the hell? Get up! There we go. Fuck, that took a while. Bomb chickens now, okay. Enough? I'm through toying with you, Luchador. It's been fun, but now it's time for Lunchador, and you're invited. You just stay perfectly still for a second.
this little trope. Gotcha. Curse you, curse you to the deepest reaches of L something. Fuck. I just beat another boss, finished another temple. Ooh, let's do that again. Fuck yeah. I'm okay, thanks for asking. Severed trophy. Defeat Uwe Peck. Cool. I command this bony betch to reveal her bone dry clitoris. The bone dry clitoris. Tell you what, although my precious headdress is destroyed, but at least I have the relic. Ah ha 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 ha. Oops. I seem to have dropped my ball. Can you just roll that on back? We did it. Uh-oh. Fuck, it's chilly today, man. Hand over the relish, unworthy foes. It's Salvador. And Munico. Hand over the relish, unworthy fellas. Damn it. Lost my train of thought. Hand over the relish, unworthy foes, or else the dazzling power of... Ah, Muneko. I'll distract him, boss. You punch him. Get out now. But I don't need friends. was I? Hand over that relic. What's a relic? Fine, then I'll take it by force. Don't touch me. Not to Via Chula to collect the final relic. Come on, Uwe Peck. Bye, chumps. Was I too harsh on Muneko? What else could go wrong? Sigh. Templo de Obsidiana. This cacti might cushion our fall, Juan. Finally, it's perfect. My tribute to justice will stand defiant for all to see forever. <laughs> yeah. Infierno. Oh, well, that's interesting. Sorry, I can't let you through. You're not dead yet. Oh wait, you died seven years ago. We're still missing your C7038 form, and we need two passport size photographs. Are you coming on to me? You've been busy, Luchador. I mean, not as busy as me, obviously. I don't just wake up like this, you know. It takes a whole lot of matches and tequila to sculpt these flames just right. Just joking. I'm cursed by the devil to a life of searing pain. Amen. Oh, you want to learn some moves? Yeah, I guess so. I'll meet you inside. Headbutt time. You should be familiar with the concept from looking in the mirror. Haha. <laughs>
You'll have to move fast here. Try canceling your power move with a roll. What the hell? Nice butt. Thanks, Dad. I mean headbutt, you narcissist. Stop wasting my time and come back when you have some new powers we can work with. baffled. Oh, so close. Fuck, why didn't that work? You know what? Fuck you. Can get up there yet? What the fuck? Oh, there we go. Oh, we almost got another magic orb. Hmm. Oh, there's an area down here. Okay. Scratch that. things back? You're kidding. Okay. Wait, what? I have to come in from the bottom left. How's that possible? Nope, that ain't happening. You're kidding me. Okay. You fucking ass clown. chicken dungeon down here. Uh, 
Holy shit, the Jawas are here. What? Am I gonna get a triple jump? That'd be fucking hilarious. Don't give up, Traveler. You are courageous and your power is growing. With our Ancient Poyo Glide technique, you will gain mastery of the elements. Gravity's very hold on you will weaken. You will float on the air like a valiant leaf. Poyo Glide? May the winds of bravery be ever under your wing. This is getting fucking sweet. Money. More money. And another life chunk. Jesus. Cool. That's all of it, right? If I can get that lava one now. Sure can. Okay. I'm rich. Killing enemies will grant more gold. I should save up for that one for sure. Do you have an appointment with Mr. Diablito? He's just upstairs doing his triple checks of our paperwork. I'm guessing this is about the repairs to the shortcut walkway. Juan the Luchador. Tostada? I haven't seen you guys around in a while. We're alive at all, for that matter, since Kalaka killed you. Death doesn't always stick, though. I get it. Anyways, it is I, your old frenemy, chief executive of the underworld. It's me, dudes, the devil. I'm trapped in this banging rooster body for eternity, as you may remember. So welcome to my domain, or what's become of it, anyway. This is my desk now. Things have not been going so well down here. Salvador has disbanded all of our special committees. No one even fills out their paperwork properly anymore. Someone turned the seventh ring of hell into a skating rink. It's horrible. Sigh. I assume you're trying to stop Salvador. I don't blame you. Best of luck, guys. Really. You have a lot of ground to cover if you plan to catch up to him, though. A little bird told me that he already has two of the relics and is closing in on the third as we speak. The Jade Relic? That's the one we gave Jaguar. We should hurry. He could be in trouble. Fly, my friends. Use the timeline rift just behind me.
fight streeter timeline? Seriously? Hey, how do you like my car? She's a beaut, eh? A real beaut. Love to take her for a spin on a sunny day like this. Yep, just got her cleaned. Um, for my dad. It's my dad's. Well, have a nice day now. You win. Perfect. No. Wow, Juan, what came over you? Dude, that's so awesome. They can have falling barrels too? No. Where am I? Stop with the cards, fuck ass. Okay. Only the 90s kids will remember that one. That's cool that they threw that in there, eh? Hey, keep it down. I'm hiding from the chicken Illuminati. You believe me, right? Everyone else thinks I'm crazy, but I'm the only one who knows the truth. Yeah. I hear that way too often. Costume unlocked. Diablo suit. Everyone's retarded but me. Ah, ah, ah. How the hell do I get up there? Quit being a chicken, please. Yeah, that ain't happening. Okay. the hell? Boy, you adopted. Ta-da! Oh, that's the beginning. Oh, now I gotta do it all over again, huh? Okay. Whoa. That's a new one. This game is so fucking cool. I feel like it's gonna be really short though. For some reason.
pollo, pollo, pollo. ¿Qué hace? Okay. Oh, shit. Wrong button. Wrong hole, Grandma. Oh, Christ. My dad says I'm fuckable. Lucha. Other such retarded exclamations. These are not the droids you're looking for. That's it. Please do be giving me back the droids now. Honey's place, right? Oh, what the hell is that? button. Far come. Okay. Ah. Uh. Fuck. Ow. Oh, that was close. Close, but no dice. Ugh. Costume unlocked. A la Brihe. Looks like a Zora to me. You stick your hand up your bum out of curiosity and find stuff in there? Yeah, my old Pog collection, actually. Kept them safe. You ever just, like, jam fucking pencil crowns in and out of your ass ferociously while watching the Karate Kid? the hell? It's the train Mr. Miyagi would have wanted after school lessons. Hey man, have you been uh, watching Cobra Kai? Oh, so you met Mama Alabrihe. She's such a sweetheart. Don't wake her up, though. She's pretty moody when she's awake. I was 
trying to wake her up. I don't know how. How the hell do you wake this fucking dilf? Ah, fuck it. Ain't nobody got time for that. Oh, okay, there's a fucking treasure chest. There's a green thing. There's another chicken. Man. How the hell did I miss that? Weird. Suck your balls. Costume unlocked. El Portero. Mm, killing enemies will grant more gold. That is so useful. No, I don't watch live action shows, whether it's lack of interest or too lazy. What the fuck? You don't watch live action shows. That's trippy. I don't think I've ever met anybody who said that before. Uh, where? I guess we could go to the green thing. So you didn't watch, like, Game of Thrones or anything? I know it's cliche as fuck, but... God damn, Game of Thrones is so fucking good. Everybody's fucking said that to death, though. No Game of Thrones? Walking Dead? Lost? Firefly? Yeah, I never watched Lost or Firefly, either. I heard Firefly is really, really good. The Walking Dead was fucking awesome, dude. Oh my god, was that good. I love The Walking Dead. Breaking Bad was fucking sweet. hell was the point of that guy just chilling up there? There's nothing up there. There's no reason for him to exist. Oof. Not even the sequel to Malcolm in the Middle where the dad makes drugs? Malcolm in the Middle is so good. I worship Malcolm in the Middle. do I do here? I know that ain't happening. Um... Okay. I can do it. It's just gotta be timed properly. Oh, whoops. Dude. Where 
the black spin-off Malcolm and the Hizzle? <laughs> Fuck you, that's hilarious. I've never heard that before. Malcolm and the Hizzle. Don't sweat it, kid. Everyone falls the first time. Poyo fans? Oh, is that what those are? Hold X in the air to Poyo glide on fan currents. Trippy. Oh, that's how I was supposed to do it? Oh god, escaping here is gonna suck. Oh, it's the fucking current from down there. I gotcha. Oh. Hmm. This 8-bit-ish song is great. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Good song for sure. There we go. Oops. Oh boy. Oh my god. This is getting difficult. Here we go. Ta -da. We just extended our life bar again. Jesus. All right, dude, I'm going to take off. I'm going to have some lunch, go on a walk, blah, blah, blah. Thanks for hanging out, man. Bye-bye. Have a good day, dude. I'll talk to you later.